Recently, there has been, uh, has been an increasing amount of interest in the concept of SLO-based education in our context. What is SLO-based education? Why do we need to shift um, to this uh, particular philosophy and type of education? And what is the general process of SLO-based education? These are questions that we will briefly respond to in this presentation. So SLO actually stands for Students Learning Outcomes. Um, and this is basically um, an educational concept that revolves around the question, um, what should students be able to demonstrate at the end of an educational course or program? So this demonstration of uh, the learning outcomes for students will be in terms of the knowledge that they can, um, can demonstrate the skills that they can show and the, the visible change in their attitude after the process of education. So the emphasis of SLO-based education is that uh, the focus of education should be on the ends or outcomes of the process of education rather than the process of education itself. In other words, uh, the emphasis is on what is the outcome of education and whether uh, we have achieved those outcomes rather than on the when and how, which actually represents the process of education. The pioneers um, of the uh, outcome-based education or the student learning outcome-based education are some of the important pioneers include Rob Taylor, Benjamin Bloom, and William Spady. Now, um, as this uh, diagrammatic representation um, indicates, the, the whole educational process in the SLO-based philosophy of education revolves around the outcomes of education. So the process of education actually begins with thinking about the possible outcomes or the, or the desired outcomes of the educational process and so in the light of those in, 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 in order to get to those outcomes, the educational process is devised, which includes the curriculum development process, the curriculum implementation process. And then that process is assessed in the light of the outcomes uh, uh, of the educational process. So we can say that the whole educational process revolves around the outcomes of the, the, the desired outcomes of the educational process rather than uh, the educational process or the assessment. So the emphasis, the center of the whole educational process is the outcomes. In other words, what we actually get at the end of the educational process uh, or what is it that the educational process sh should go on in order to for us to get those outcomes. Now, why is it that um, the SLO-based education is important? <clears throat> First of all, uh, this is a philosophy that gives clarity regarding educational outcomes. So the educators or the, uh, the, the, the educational process is clear, begins with the, their focus on the outcomes of it. So the educational process moves in a clear direction that is aimed at achieving the educational outcomes. Secondly, the ends are important rather than the means. So we need to achieve those outcomes in terms of the behavioral change of the students rather than the means such as the teaching processes or the curriculum or the, the, the when and where and how of the educational process. Thirdly, <clears throat> um, the SLO-based education helps us in the rationalization of the educational process in the light of achieving the product or outcome. So if we have achieved our outcomes um, in terms of bringing in those changes in the student's behavior or their learning, uh, we can say that the education is successful. Otherwise, that's not the case. 
The next important thing because of which SLO-based education is important is that it brings in flexibility in terms of time, resources, teaching methods, individual student progress. So there is a lot of uh, flexibility because the focus is, is not on the process but actually the outcome. And so the outcome, uh, the process could, uh, be, uh, could be varied but the outcome is something that is important and that is the focus. Next, it brings, it develops creativity and imagination because there, there are more than one ways uh, towards the end of the educational process. And as a result, it helps both creativity on the part of the education, uh, the, 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 the teachers and the students in, in, uh, in terms of getting towards the desired outcomes. The next important, uh, thing about SLO-based education is that it brings in democratization in the educational process. And so there is a kind of, you can say, that it's a bottom-up approach and the immediate stakeholders such as the students and teachers are more involved in the process of creation of knowledge. Inclusion uh, is also one of the outcomes of the SLO-based education. Uh, where all sorts of uh, de uh, students with different abilities are actually included because there is no fixed uh, type of, of methods or, or fixed terms for students to make progress and to develop. The next thing is it brings in more autonomy for students, teachers and educational institutions in terms of setting goals and then in, in terms of devising uh, mechanisms to achieve those uh, outcomes or goals. And lastly, research has also indicated that SLO-based teaching uh, uh, results in better academic achievement on the part of students. Now the how of it, so the first thing, because the focus is on outcomes, so the SLO-based teaching will begin with defining um, and specifying learning outcomes in the very beginning. Uh, and then in the light of those outcomes, the curriculum will be designed. Then that curriculum will be delivered or in, in, forms of, in the form of instruction or the educational process. And then the results, assessment will be done and the results of the, uh, of, of, of the outcomes of that educational process will be documented. And lastly, that will actually help us in determining what advancement um, have students made towards achieving the learning outcomes that have been defined in the very beginning of the whole process. Um, and then the how of it also is that there are certain principles of SLO. So the first one is that um, there is need to be clarity and focus. So when we have clear outcomes, when, when we have understanding of clear outcomes of the educational process, that helps us in the clarity of focus of the educational process. Expanded opportunity actually means that students have more than one ways of learning uh, and they have flexibility. And similarly, teachers can experiment with the, their teaching methodologies. And so there is this idea of expanded opportunity both for the teachers, the curriculum developers, and the students because the aim is not the process but the outcomes. Thirdly, high expectations because students are expected to make progress um, in line with their abilities and according to their own, uh, um, to their own pace of learning. So as a result, Every student is expected to achieve uh, higher academic, um, uh, academically uh, achieve high, higher success. And lastly, design down, which actually means that the process of education does not begin with a focus on the curriculum or on the process or, the, or on the implementation, but actually on the outcomes. And so from the outcomes, uh, we, we come down to the process of education, curriculum design, the implementation, the assessment, and that results in better um, coherence of the whole educational process. So these are some references that can help you further study this, uh, this interesting topic.